Well, but maybe you could tell me, uh, you have a, a show here about ancient apes from Egypt. Could you tell us a little about the show? Yes, it is an, uh, a development actually in e Egyptology, which we show in, in, in the museum, where uh, one, one part of the show is the archaeological part about apes, about monkeys, about baboons. And another part is the actual research that's done by medical people into the uh, history of uh, DNA, AIDS, and all these kind of things. And uh, the, these, these, these people have discovered things Egyptologists themselves have never been able to, uh, to, to discover. And they come to, came to us for co collaboration. We worked together and we, we, we thought this we are going to show to uh, the audience. Now, in ancient Egypt, uh, the monkey, or the baboon more, yes. was held to be sacred. Yes. Uh, how did that come about, and who were the characters that it represented, they represented? Yes, you, 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 you very rightly say that the baboon was a sacred animal. Uh, a curious fact to our, our Western mind, if I may express express myself that way, but anyway, uh, a, a baboon or, uh, the, the knows exactly when the, the sun, the, the sun god, the mighty god of Egypt, when, when every morning the sun god appears over the horizon, and uh, then he starts making noises, he does woo, 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 all these kind of noises. Now the Egyptians have, have noticed this and have concluded that uh, the, uh, these baboons knew a thing about the world, about the sun god that uh, humans don't know, the exact hour of, 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 of the, the birth of the sun god. So they, they concluded that the animal was a very, very uh, sacred, very holy, holy being, uh, worth to be uh, venerated, worth, worth to be venerated in temples, and uh, they considered him in the end as, uh, as, a, as, a, as the learned man, the secretary to the College of Gods, who uh, takes account of time, of the uh, rising tide of the Nile, of uh, the time when children were, 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 were born, uh, in short, all, all, all kinds of aspects that have to do with, 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 uh, with, with, with time and, and, and its uh, secrets. Uh, the baboon is the living image of this, 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 this god, this called Toad, and uh, since he's the li living image, he should be venerated, and the animal itself was considered as a god and venerated in temples. Uh, and when he died, he was well fed, he got lots of honey, um, and when he, was the, when, when he died, they mummified the animals. Now, the interesting point about this is that the um, group from the Academic Medical Center here of our university here in Amsterdam, they went to Saqqara, they found the subterranean galleries of the, uh, of the, of the, uh, the b b baboons, and they, um, analyzing the, 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 the skeletons, the bones, and, and also the, the way they were mum mummified, they, 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 you know, they, they discovered a number of uh, aspects about these, these, the cult of these uh, baboons that were not known before that we are uh, showing. We have a mummy of a baboon, we have the uh, actual, uh, you know, the way they were mummified, they, were, they died, they were put in, 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 uh, in kind of bandages, in, uh, soaked in, 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 a kind of, in a kind of soda, and then put, put in little, little coffins uh, filled with plaster, and the thing was lidded and was, was stuck away in, in these gal galleries. So that was an interesting aspect. Uh, at the same time, there's the traditional Egyptian part of the story, where the Egyptians represent the, the sacred baboon uh, in their art, uh, always in a, in a magnificent way. I mean, it's, it's incredible. The, uh, the, the baboons shown in the exhibition are mostly very, very well made, made of ivory, bone, Egyptian faience, terracotta, uh, very well shaped, proportionally, beautifully well, uh, well, 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 well rendered, and uh, as works of art, they 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 they're really interesting. Now, what we consider works of art uh, has nothing to do with the Egyptian idea about works of art. I mean, uh, art has a function; it serves something. It's not for beauty, not just for beauty. It it should be beautiful because then it does homage. Uh, homage eh, to the gods. 
that's uh, that's the, but uh, in 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 itself, uh, uh, the rendering should be truthful, well balanced, and uh, at that time, at at at, at 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 that moment, the thing becomes becomes the god uh, itself, and an, an image of of the god, well 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 drawn, well modelled, is the god. And the better it's modeled, the better the god is represented, and the more it pleases to the god, and so on. Uh, these uh, baboons, uh, as I said, uh, these sacred animals, uh, play an important part in uh, uh, the funerary practice. Uh, the death after after uh, after he, he died wishes to resurrect, wishes to to live on in the hereafter, and he uh, in, in some in some prayers he even uh, ex expresses himself in the sense that he wants to be reborn as a baboon, which. Uh, it's a very curious uh, way of expressing uh, oneself according to Western mind, but not at all to Egyptian mind, because the baboon in incarnates, incorporates science, wisdom, and balance, also balance, which is very important to the ancient Egyptians. Then there is also the, 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 the part where, the, where, the, where, 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 where monkeys, anyway, are connected in one or another way with, 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 with uh, fertility. Uh, and uh, there's a group of statues where, where you show uh, the statue of nude women uh, uh, surrounded by, by, by monkeys, even suckling a baby monkey. And this has to do with the, the wish for fertility for, 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 for children, which uh, naturally in an agricultural country, uh, as ancient Egypt, was a very important fact of life, a very important element of the continuity of life. So we have uh, different aspects of uh, of the uh, of the of the baboon and the, the monkeys in ancient Egypt in in art in the funerary arts and then the the, the, the academic medical centers re, re research uh, as far as the last the this this last last uh, aspect uh, is concerned we we, we show um, as a kind of help to, to, to the visitors, both in English and in Dutch, um, uh, what actually is DNA, how, 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 how does it function, how does it look, and other kinds of the, 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 the investigations of the uh, medical people. So that's, that's present too. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I can only say that I hope that people will, will, will come and have a look. It's not so very large an exhibition. It's, it's, a, it's three rooms and there is a sub supplementary corridor with nice uh, watercolors of the ex exhibition. And, um, you know, you, one, one, one has the pleasure of, of seeing beautiful objects, and interesting investigations uh, in, in art and, and ar archaeology. So that uh, should be sufficient for, for a nice afternoon. And tell me, um, how long will the exhibition be on, and uh, uh, how can people get here? Well, you know, uh, you know the Albert Pearson Museum is the archaeolog archaeological museum of the University of Amsterdam. Uh, so it's a university collection. It's open every day except on Monday, uh, uh, from ten o'clock in the morning to five o'clock, and on Saturday and Sunday it's open from one o'clock to five o'clock in the afternoon. And it will be uh, on show. The exhibition will be on show during all of the summer months till the 29th of uh, October. Well, Robert, thank you very much for being with us today. Okay.